I'm going to answer two important issues today, but all are related to the credit card and the credit score. And when you are ending the year or beginning of the year, there are so many offers for the credit cards. But I wanted to ask and answer these questions. Number one, how can immigrants get their credit cards? And how can you build the perfect credit score if you are a brand new person here in the United States of America? For those who do not know, credit score is something foreign, is something new for our life and our systems we have in our finances in our countries. I don't know which countries in Africa have credit score system, but where I'm from, we didn't have and we don't have the credit score system. We have the informal way. The informal way in what sense? If I want to borrow money from you, I come to borrow money from you, then I will pay you back. Then I go to another friend, I can borrow the money, I can borrow the money, I can borrow the money and pay back like that way. But if I ask the money from one person, a friend, and I don't pay back, I go and borrow from another person, I don't pay back, I go to another person, all my friends will start talking that if you if EBM comes to borrow the money from you, if you give this person the money, we will not pay you back. So you are going to be denied in the future from your friends because you are not a trustworthy person. So that is what here it is. But unfortunately, in the United States, it's a very big country. Remember, it is a union. It's a federal government is a union of 50 states. In other words, it was 50 countries joined together to form one country. So if this country is so huge, you can go from one city to another city to another state and they might not know you. So for that particular case, they designed a system where if you go and borrow the money from one financial institution, in whatever form, you don't pay back, they report into the system so that the friends are telling one another. And once the friends are telling one another, that's what is called the credit score. So they are going to give you a number from 300 to 850, whatever, something like that, or 800. So what will be your number? The higher the number you go, the more trustworthy person. It's not about how much money you have. It's how much trust should the financial institution give to you. Are you a trustworthy person? So, yes, you might have a lot of cash. Yes, you might have a lot of money in the bank as debit, um, in the saving account or in checking account. It doesn't matter. If the bank, they put your social security number and finds out that you are in the bad number, you are toasted. They don't care how much money you have. You are not a trustworthy person in the financial systems. So, there are so many things you can be able to use to establish a credit score. One of those is a credit card. I will talk about credit card a little bit because this is the most common used as the measure or to establish a credit score. There are other ways also they are going to be considered. So, credit card, just like the word credit itself, is just like, uh, it's just like a kind of small loan. The money is put into the bank or into your card. Debit card is the money which is your only money you put in the bank. That is the debit card. It's money in your own account. Credit card is the bank's money put in the card for you and they give you that card. In most cases, when you are brand new, they give you that card. They'll give you 500 to 1,000. You can be given by the bank. Each store, like you go to Target, Walmart, any store, have their own credit cards. You go to Sam's Club, whatever, they have their own credit card. But also, there are other 
companies, not the bank, but their financial institution, they have their own credit card. Number one, don't apply to many credit cards. Even if you want to one, because whenever they are going to apply to check you before they give you the credit card, they are going to run the credit, first of all. Wherever they run the credit, you are going to get a bad score. That means it's going to affect, it's going to lower down your credit. It means you are going to everybody to borrow the money. Going to everybody borrowing the money, it means like you, you are broke already. So don't start going to request for credit score to credit card everywhere. And another thing, you might be receiving the credit card offers in the mail. They send you the mail like this way. They send all these offers. Don't, they will say you are pre-approved maybe for 1,000 or 5,000. If you call them, you say, yes, uh, go ahead. I want to get that one. That, at that time, they are going to run your credit. When they run your credit, if you give your social, it means it's going to lower down your credit. So number one, don't apply to different companies. Just go to one company. If they say no, you can go maybe for the second one at the beginning. That's all. Don't go to many companies. And let's say you get your credit card. They will tell you your card maybe is loaded with $1,000. Or credit of limit. Credit limit is 1000 or 500 So, and then they will tell you the monthly payment. If you use this card, let's say you use, even if you use 400 I'm giving example. The monthly payment each month you on this day, maybe on 17th of each month, you'll be paying for us maybe $20. That's what will be required, depending on the amount you got and whatever they tell you that way. So here are the tricks how to build the credit score. I've already talked to you how to get the credit card. The first one, you don't have much of the option. You cannot go and be picky to choose a lot of offers because you don't have credit at all. So the banks have much of this decision. But when you have good credit score, you can ask which one can give you money back guarantee, which one can... But at the beginning, you don't have much of the option. You can talk to your bank or to different companies. You can search online, which are easy, whatever to get, but don't apply to as many of those ones. Then, let's say you are going now to, you got the card, the limit you have. The techniques are this one. This is how you are going to build your credit score using your credit card. Because each month, the credit companies, they are going to report if you paid and what is your balance in that credit limit. They gave you. Never use over 50% of your credit card limit. If they give you 500, usually don't go over 50% of that. But the technique, don't go even more than, if they give you 500, don't go more than, don't, don't go even like 15, 20%. Use as small as possible. Use that card for credit score building. Don't use that card for the going to the movie theater. Don't use that card to go out for the debt on a non-essential thing. Use the card for building credit score. But you might be asking, why this guy is talking about too much about credit score? You will not have a very good job if you have a very bad credit. You will not have a very good uh, home. You cannot buy a house without a credit score because it's a loan. You cannot buy a vehicle, a car, without a credit score. If you are going to get a loan, if you're paying cash, all of it is up to you. That's good. So there are so many things are tied into the credit score. So you have to build it. Even if you have your own cash. So, number one, use the small amount. If, let's say, you have 500, I usually don't go more than 100. Not go even 150 max. Because if they say you have used the limit almost you are giving 500, you are 450, 470, that this person is abusing the money. Kind of that you are, you are not reliable, you are at the edge of poverty. That's how they interpret that. So that's number one. Number two is, when you use the credit card and the time to pay, if the, you were supposed to pay $25 on this particular day, 
don't go beyond that day. Try to pay days before. And if you're paying the days before, pay beyond the minimum minimum amount. Because they tell you the minimum is $25. It doesn't mean that if you pay $30, they are not going to take it. But remember, you're playing with the computer. So pay a little bit more. Maybe pay 35 They say uh, 25 is the minimum payment. Pay 26 pay 27 In the system, you have paid beyond the minimum payment. It is a credit. You get even a little bonus on that. And there are some people try to, for instance, they pay, if it's, it's $30, for instance, per month, they pay maybe beginning of the, I mean, like, on, they're supposed to pay maybe, let's say, on 25th, so they pay on 1st, and maybe on 20th. So it looks like you paid it twice on your system. So it, the system record is, is going to record you are paid it twice. Even if you paid it below, I mean, the minimum amount, but you paid it twice in two different occasions, which is another technique people are using. So, Find different ways on how you can use your credit. So that is how you build the credit using credit card. So don't use, the more you have more credit cards, the worse you become because you are not trustworthy, you are not reliable. So have one, two credit cards would be enough. Because other ways to build a credit score, they are going to look, do you pay rent on time? Do you pay your electricity bill on time? Because if you don't pay, they are going to report you. Do you pay your, I mean, your, uh, your, your, your phone bill on time? Because if you don't pay, they are going to report. So there are so many other bills which are going to affect your credit in one way or another. But at the beginning, don't just jump and start going to get so many credit cards. And even to get your apartments, people have to run your credit to find out if you have good credit score so that they can give you a good apartment. So moving one apartment to another every few months, it is going to affect your credit if they're going to check all the time. So you have to find out what are the factors affecting the credit score and how to avoid them. But you need to get your first credit card, or at least two, and start building that credit without any uh, complications. So avoid any ways. Trust me, majority of the immigrants do not know about credit card or they just go and have more and they start using only unnecessary purchases. They think it's just extra money. You are allowed to take the money. Some of, most of the credit cards are money from the ATM, but they charge you extra. They punish you. Instead of taking maybe $3, I mean the fee for ATM, they charge you maybe $50 extra because you are taking money from the credit card. So avoid everything. That credit card, use that one for credit score building. Not for the matter of finding ways on how you can go and spend the money on an essential thing. You want to go for a debt. You want to go to use unnecessary things. So those are the few things I want to make sure that you understand about a credit card. For immigrants to start with and how the few things you can use to build your credit score.